In this video, I will show you how to draw normality plot in Excel. Do you need two things? One is mean, other is standard deviation. Let's assume your mean is 7 and your standard deviation is 1.3 and you want to draw a normality plot in Excel. What you need to do, you have to follow a few steps. Step 1. We have to create an incremental standard deviation, which means that we have to decide our threshold. Let's say we are taking it at 99% confidence level. So our threshold is plus minus 3. Plus minus 3. So we have to draw our line standard deviation. What is your data? It is 7 and 1.3. This could be any value in your data. The mean, of course, it's not limited to say one. Any value of the mean and any value of the standard deviation, the process is same. Let's say our data is mean minus standard deviation multiplied by 3. This 3 that we have selected is plus minus 3 as our threshold. Okay, plus minus 3. So, your data, we selected mean minus standard deviation multiplied by 3. And in second row, we have to select the first plus standard deviation divided by 10. Why 10? Because it is 0 0.1 that we have created an incremental from minus 3 to plus 3. So same way we are creating from our data from minus 3 to plus 3. So we have to use the same formula that is first value plus standard deviation divided by 10. Now important point here is that we have to use dollar sign before E and after E so that once we drag this data then it can work otherwise it will not work okay step 3 here we want to create normalization so in normalization we just need to use norm normal distribution and it will give us formula x x is this value comma mean comma standard deviation comma you have two options one is true one is false false is probability mass function so we are using false and again let's say if we want to drag it will not work until we put a dollar sign here before this d and after d and same way with mean and standard deviation both we have to use dollar sign and then we drag and that's done now step 4 we choose this data two lines our own data and normalization and go to insert click here to check to draw scatter plot now here is your normality graph let's do some cosmetic changes we can make adjustment uh, start from 2 so that it looks better and this is your normality plot you can further you can draw a line from this point to this point and interesting thing is that it is 7 now what is 7 mean and median is equal so here is your mean which is 7 and here in the point of 0 this is mean value so you can see here this is a normal distribution plot where mean is equal what we have here so this is how you can draw a normal distribution. Let's say if your mean is 21 and your 
standard deviation is 2.236 whatever is data so it will create normal distribution automatically because we have already set up this formula so you can change your mean value whatever is the value in your data you get accordingly you can draw the normality graph thank you